Hey guys. So I think this uh, there's a Alicain's defense tournament. Uh, so yeah, why not joining it? Mm, play tournament. <clears throat> yeah, so this this rapid arena Alicain's defense uh, thematic. There was a five minutes. How much time is left here? Three minutes. Okay, I'm gonna join just to play one one game. Yes, it chips exactly. That's something I play regularly. So yeah, I I, I feel compelled to participate in the tournament. It's not that I'm an expert or anything like that, but. It's in my repertoire, but yeah, of course I play just a couple of lines out of a lot of them. <laughs> okay, let's play one from this tournament to, to warm up. Aha, so this is the starting position. Um, let's play with g6. c3, okay, that makes sense. Now B2 is weak. Not sure of that one, but already out of theory. <laughs> hey Jackie, how you doing buddy? Okay, let's prevent him from castling. Seems annoying. Not sure if it is good or bad, but but it seems annoying. Maybe queen d5, maybe knight c6. I want to. Okay, queen d5 is not possible. Knight, knight here. I want to put pressure here. It's important in defense this because bishop e7 would be a threat otherwise. Um, <clears throat> Okay, can I just take it? Take, take, take some. Yeah. Um, whoa, what is that? Uh, I feel like I'm winning material, but I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Let's trade everything and. Uh, that's that's gonna be it. C3 is hanging, by the way, so Bishop C3 would be a nice piece and shoot instead of regaining the queen, but okay. This is also fine. That wasn't hanging because I had this trick. Okay. <laughs> okay, bearings are closed. I just played one game. <laughs> Hey Lord Ananas, I'm doing fine. Did you see yesterday the rook a2 move from Fabiano? Yes, I, I, I saw that. Um, yeah. I have to say, in the same game, Wesley played rook a2 afterwards in the endgame. Um, so yeah, in that game there were two rook a2 moves, one by white, one by black. But yeah, white's move was, was great. However, it was an equal position, so yeah, as as cute as it is, that move, it's not like... Uh, I, I still prefer the rook takes f7 by Aronian the previous day. Okay, let's go for the tournament. Yeah, 100% record, that's perfect. Let's go for the next tournament. <laughs> Okay, it's starting in two minutes. Oh, sorry, I committed a mistake. Let's hope still. Let's hope the stream didn't break.
Um, am I still here? I think I am. Okay. Okay, one minute left. Let's let's join. Okay, thanks, sweet chips. Because I have this hot corner in the in the in my computer to lock the session and, and that's what I did by accident, so not sure if Top seed, yeah. And we have a, a quote by Magnus Carlsen in this tournament that says, you'll be amazed at the people I've lost to while playing online. <laughs> I, I wouldn't believe that, that quote. But okay. He probably wouldn't believe the the number of people that someone like me have have really lost to while playing online. He probably thinks he lost like a lot, but <laughs> we mortals we, we we lose more. Okay, let's go. Let's get ready for. Some Alekine's action. 20 seconds. Fabi might have a chance in London. Uh, when you say in London, you mean in the World Championship, right? You don't mean in the Grantchester. Yeah, I think he would definitely have some chances. Peter Zwiedler, hey. <laughs> Peter, is that you? <laughs> okay, uh, let's go with c4. Oh no, it's not my turn. Uh, let's remove the e or what? Uh, let's go with c4. Yeah, I know you're not Peter. You can't do. You cannot be. But I appreciate your your presence here. Uh, what is the knight doing on f5? Yeah, Peter is Paul Bort, exactly. Is there a 4-pawn attacking Alekhine? Yes, it is. But uh, starting out of the position we start, uh, it's not easy to, to get. Let's prevent knight b4. Yeah, there's the four points attack. Um, but yeah, starting out of this position, we start this tournament, it really depends on black. Maybe. It's not like, like the main way to go to the four points variation, but yeah, it, it can transpose. Oh, putting a lot of pressure on d4 now. Good move, I guess. Um, how how do we do this? Um, Let's do it this way. I'm not. I, I'm not sure because now c4 is going to be hanging. I don't really want to trade the knight on e5, and I think I have to. And yeah, I'm not liking this because I w I would love to play knight e4, but of course I, I will not sacrifice that. So yeah, I'm not sure about my 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 decision. Unless I sacrifice an exchange now. Will I sacrifice an exchange here? I feel it's too much. It's a little bit too much, but let's have some fun. 
and now let's try to justify it uh, with less time in the clock so I need to be really really accurate now well accurate maybe it's not the word I need to to be aggressive push and baby yeah not easy to push but I have the A4 B5 plan more or less long term I, I need to be careful with the, with my back rank so this rook does not belong there um, but I'm not sure where, where where does it belong okay so F4 bishop H3 ideas I guess I should be careful with those um, I'm going to do a very suspicious move. Yeah, that's very suspicious. Let's do another suspicious move. Because I thought he was going to go f4 instead of... Um, oh, did I blunder? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Oh. Yeah, I miscalculated. I totally miscalculated this. Uh, I guess I can resign. Oh man, this is embarrassing. Yeah. Oh, my, my, my calculation was nuts. Oh. Because what, what I really wanted was the position with the knight here, the same position with the knight here, but even that, yeah, there I had queen c2. And then I thought, the problem is if I go first with f3 instead of f4, he's gonna play e4. And and then I said, okay, I go via c2, but via c2, I, I don't have queen c2 here. I'm so stupid. I'm so fucking stupid. Yeah, I don't have any particular reason to not resign. <laughs> um, maybe I just want to punish me. <laughs> I want to punish myself for this stupid mistake. So I want to suffer. Let's suffer for a moment, for a while. Before the next game.
Okay, let's defend it. Hey Fimble, what's up? You're in time to to watch me lose in this game. Queen takes f3 is the best move here. If I'm right. Maybe bishop g2 and followed by queen takes f3. It's even more accurate, yeah. Bishop g2, queen g2, queen f3. Yeah, that seems accurate. Okay, he wants to keep the tension, that's uh, for sure not a bad idea. In general, this is hanging. <laughs> Thanks for the cheering up, it chips. <laughs> This position is very, 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 very bad. And actually my last move was a mistake, yeah. Now I'm realizing. Let's go back here. It's also your favorite quote. That's cute. Queen g4 and trade everything seems like a good idea. Or or to g3 also, yes. Uh, bishop g2 and then takes on c3. I miss that. Yeah, that's huge. He, did, he doesn't do it, which is strange. Um, yeah, not so strange because he's... He just trades queens and, and plays h3, and yeah, that's very easy now for him. I'm gonna lose some time also. G5. Prevent it. I need 
a stalemate and I don't have it. Oh! Uh, okay, what a blunder. Yeah, I guess I didn't have enough time. Okay, that was my penitence for that stupid blunder. Um, <laughs> well, that's not a good way to start. Okay. First place in the tournament is already at six points. Poof. Um. <sighs> okay, let's go. So yeah, the knight is already on f3, so it's not not, a, not easy to transpose to the four four pawns line. Mm, this is normal. Yeah, actually, this is a wrong remove because I, I would take the bishop. Or not? Hmm. I think I would. Pawn takes, knight takes, bishop takes e7, queen d7. So let's not remove this. Um, John Paul is thinking. He's in the tank now. <coughs> I mean, knight b6 is the only move against bishop c4, so I'm not sure. Well, maybe c6, but um, I don't know what he's thinking. What's your favorite pizza topping? Uh, I don't know what's the word for rucula in English. <laughs> But I don't usually eat pizza, I have to say that also, because I'm a little bit intolerant to lactose. Okay, let's develop. I don't like my position. Let's unping because I, I I need to change the structure or something. Knight d2. Okay, it's a perfectly good time to put pressure on d4. Apparently, most of Asia is lactose intolerant. Yeah, I would say most humans. <laughs> um, is this a pawn? I think this is a pawn. The human being is supposedly lactose intolerant by by nature. We just got used to to it. 
generation after generation we got used to milk consumption cow milk generally mm -hmm. okay I don't know why my yeah I think I'm gonna take that pawn takes takes and then bishop back to g7 and if there there and if that that okay so bishop b2 bishop f6 uh okay okay i was calculating a long line that is not there anymore we screwed up our bodies like that by doing that and many other things uh, okay, I have to be careful with queen d4 check. Or not. No, because then I play f6. You know, never play f6, but I think I have f6. Against queen d4 check here. Um, rook c1 is interesting. Also. Well, I didn't take a pawn for, for free because d6 was hanging all the time. It's still hanging, but somehow he didn't want to take it. I mean, the trade on g7 seemed suspicious to me in this particular line. Um... Yeah, I mentioned. Did I mention that rook c1 was an interesting move? Yeah, I don't know what to do. Queen e7, rook e1. No, rook e1 is not a good move. Oh, yes, it is. But I guess there's nothing wrong with that, and I'm two pawns up. Mm, he can regain one now, but I'm gonna be very glad to enter that simplifying line upon up. And if he goes for the most complicated rookie one, I think I should be doing fine. Ah, rookie one, bishop e4, f3 maybe. Queen, ah, queen d4 also, yeah. Now we'll do this instead of f6. Seems good. Actually, I might have saved the pawn because there's no way he can take on d6 now and the knight on e4 is hanging so okay I guess I just take the knight what's the deal with that what's his idea rook e1 queen d3 no queen yeah I see okay okay okay, okay, okay. so I guess taking is perfectly perfectly good move I'm just trying to see what's gonna happen after that Ah, uh, I have a good move actually. I have queen h4. I think queen h4 is a good move against rook e1. Because that, that way I will never be scared of any checks in the diagonal. And, and I will not have the necessity to, to pin my f7 pawn again. Yeah, so queen d3 was very sim simplistic, to put it that way. Not the best way to offer a queen trade. Yeah, the problem with queen d3 is queen e5 check. So I'm, I'm giving up on the defending this square. So queen e5 check, I, I really don't want to play f6, and then I have to pin my f7 pawn again. Yeah, I was trying to, to avoid that that sort of thing and now I should be winning on the spot because this rook is not defended I 
I can check here. I'm just trying to see if there's something good out of it. I guess it's the same. Okay, it's not a real threat E4, so let's bring the knight. It's not a real threat because I have this check and and at least I have bishop e6, but now that I defended f7, I can even move this bishop. Actually, that's a blunder. He had to go there, because now I just pin the rook. And, yeah. Mm, let's do it this way. Queen e5, I think, is more, more accurate to go for the checkmate. Okay, good. So... So yeah, this line is after, so the tournament starts in the position after e4, knight f6, e5, knight d5, um, d4, d6, knight f3, which is maybe called the model 9. This line with knight f3 is slow approach by white, instead of playing c4, bishop c4 immediately, or uh, f4 to go for the four pawns variation. Uh, white goes with knight f3, saying that okay, white has more space and that's perfectly good outcome of the opening. So, so white keeps developing instead of pushing pawns. Yeah, this is knight f3. Um, yeah, I'm not very familiar with this because that's not something I usually face with black and it's not it's definitely not something I I usually play with white. I may I, I played this a couple of times in my life maybe. This knight of three line. Um I guess I am still going to go for C four and stuff like this. Okay six blocks this bishop is usually not Whoa! Okay, now, <laughs> now the bishop is going to be released. Yeah, uh, I'll give him that. He can release the bishop now, but no. What is? Maybe he thinks this is an anti-chess tournament. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> No, he's attacking my knight! <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to do now. Uh, let's be funny then. <laughs> yeah, he, he got e4. Yeah, he got e4. I couldn't prevent e4. That was... Very deep. <laughs> that was very deep. Okay. Uh, can I keep my knight hanging? I really want to, but I don't see a good way. Okay. Let's let's save my knight. Uh, castling is usually a good move. Um, I'll give him the, the, the queen trade if he wants to take on his uh, on e5. No, I mean, I mean the opening we can criticize whatever. He had his ideas, but come on, f6, nah. Okay, now I need to, now I need to crash him. <laughs> he developed a piece without hanging it. Yeah, that was very impressive. 
Now, if a6, I was thinking queen a4. And it's nice because after take takes here, I take on a8. He can take here, but pawn takes, the queen is pinned, he has to take with the king. Anyway, this loses an exchange immediately, so it's not a good move. Okay, um, now it's time to take here. Yeah, very amateur. He played f6. Uh, woof. <laughs> oh man. I'm I'm really um Yeah, I'm really astonished of his rating. 1564 but he played like uh Ten hundred, maybe. I don't know. Um, give me a second. I'm, I'm gonna grab some coffee. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, let's continue. Someone have such weak light and dark squares while still having the bishop pair. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. That happened to me a couple of times. <laughs> Sometimes you have the bishop pair and you, you cannot move your bishops. That's, that's the worst. <laughs> I prefer not to have the bishops that, than having the bishops trapped behind my own pawns. That, that's the worst. Okay, let's play against co K0G1AN. How, how is that spelled? Kogyan? Koglan? I don't know. Another 1500. Let's see. So e6 was <laughs> the move I, I had to face in the previous game. Ah, okay. This is, well, at least this is normal, I guess. Now e6 is tempting. e6 is really tempting. It's so tempting, I'm, I'm gonna do it, I think. Because taking is normal, but what about e6? e6 is really tempting. <laughs> Ruining this, this, this structure with f takes e6. Yeah, I like it. I don't know if that's a good move or not, but it's a at least it's an annoying move. This opening should come with warning, not for under twenty hundred. Nah, I don't think so. I lost my first game against uh, one that was under twenty hundred, so. <laughs> okay, so I liked this. That's what I liked. But uh, I didn't think about a follow-up here, <laughs> so so I guess it's time to do it. Knight h4 is too obvious to to work. Knight h4 if g6 bishop d3. I cannot believe it. Okay, it's too artificial, but let, let's do it. Let's do it because it's just putting some asking some questions. It seems suspicious this move, but okay, this is defended, this cannot move, so there's no no immediate attack against that knight that works, so maybe it's not that that terrible. And then I can continue with the normal development, but for the moment I'm, I'm asking some questions, because queen h5 might be an idea. Hey Kramnik, no slow chess today? Well, this is more or less slow. 10 minutes games tournament. Hey Sebastian. Hello. King d7 is a move, yeah. <laughs> King d7 is a move. 
Yeah, it's the Alekines Arena. Yes. Queen d7. Queen d7. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to do the check. I think the check, we have to do it. <laughs> that was his idea. So he's, <laughs> he's doing that. Okay, okay. Makes sense. No, it doesn't. Um, how am I going to face that? Um, I'm losing the d4 pawn. I'm not sure if that's important. I think I'm in sacrificial mode. I already sack one pawn. Uh, I can sacrifice another pawn. Great opening. <laughs> yeah, Sebastian, um, Quartillo couldn't come today, so I only stream in the night today. Um, yeah, I I told that in the Discord in the Discord server. Mm, I think. Yes, I did. Okay, so I'm two pawns down, but life is great. I'm I'm taking one pawn back here if necessary, or maybe not. But yeah, look at these pieces. Even the knight here is not so great. I have a good feeling because my pieces have a lot of potential. Your name is Sefa. Okay. Okay, Sefa Sefa is easier. I just call you Sebastian because it reminds me of Sebastian, that name. What is that? He wants to play nice too. But come on, that cannot work. Are you serious? That cannot work, does it? Does it work? Okay, I'm gonna take it. Then I'm gonna threaten it so that the knight is trapped on a1 now. And now I go here. Alekhine sounds familiar. <laughs> no idea what it is though. Well, he was a great player from the past. <laughs> you can take to knight versus rook. Uh, he has a good move here to defend against this threat. And then I'm gonna just keep developing and then I'm gonna take that knight eventually, I think. But yeah, I like my active pieces. Yeah, Alexander Arikain. That was the second or third third world champion in the history. So yeah, and the only one that didn't lose his title um, being alive. <laughs> I mean, he lost the title when he died. The fourth? Is it the fourth? Okay, my bad. I I, uh, I was never good at history. <laughs> Magnus didn't lose title. Yeah, he still didn't, but... But until he loses the title or he dies we we have to wait to see if <laughs> how how does magnus compute for the history steinitz lasker capablanca then alekhine then max u then alekhine again yes and michael vodvinik then thanks for thanks for the listing uh, kramnik 
okay how do we, we continue here well we can threaten the rook for real just by moving the queen back that's one thing we can do we cannot do this and actually ah yeah because of this threat no 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 no, no i'm wrong yeah yeah so we're doing fine so rook here is a good move moving this bishop to to take the knight is a good move but i think i'm gonna just threaten the the rook first yeah so let's threaten the rook it's the more important piece here um so he's on plus five in material but uh, I don't think this position is good for black. I'm really confident about this position. This this rook is in serious trouble because this bishop cannot move. So, okay, maybe it still can be defended. Yes, with queen f7, rook g8. Uh, still, it's very painful position for that rook, and this is definitely lost. So I think I. I can regain my material if I want. Uh, but maybe I don't want, maybe I find a good attack against that king in the center. Okay, let's stay here, queen f7, I'm expecting. <laughs> Doesn't even matter if the position is good, you're playing a 1500. Well, it does matter because, um, yeah, I said that already. Yeah, I said this several times this quote by some great champion in the of the past i i never know who who said what but this this quote of um it's not enough with being good you also have to play well so yeah despite the rating or the rating difference uh if you don't play well you lose against anyone and if your opponent plays well he can defeat anyone. So yeah, um, I think underestimating your opponent is usually a good recipe for disaster. No matter who your opponent is. Because sometimes you also underestimate strong opponents. It happened to me from time to time. Sometimes you don't understand their moves and you think oh what a terrible move he just made and you cannot think like that okay it has one positive it has one plus when you underestimate your opponents it has the plus that that you are super confident <laughs> and self-confidence is definitely also um, a good a good thing to have in, in competition but yeah, it's not the only thing. Um, okay, so I'm hitting the knight. Uh, the knight is lost, but I'm also hitting. Yeah, hinting at uh, some ideas here. Let's take the knight first, because uh, oh, I thought I was behind in time, but no, I, I'm actually good in time now. Okay, knight here wins the exchange, right? Because he has to take on h8. Uh, I think it's important to do that be, be, before he defends everything with the other rook and so uh, there's no checkmate here I might have a lot of tricks here that I, I cannot see if he ever pushes this 95 is winning on the spot but I cannot force him to push that can I trade this is it good rook here is interesting okay let's start with this move yeah, an h8 wins, wins the exchange, and then I would be up on material, actually. But could he not save the knight with, with c4? Oh, no, because I had plenty of squares for my bishop. Like here you say c4, but I just put the bishop on e4, or more likely on b1. Um, and then it will it will take some moves to take the knight. That's that's for sure. Yeah, he might he might have played that. Yeah, it made, made a little bit more of sense. Oh, he made this. Okay, 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 okay. So. So yeah, giving your opponent the. The chance to the chance to blunder. 
is usually a, <laughs> a good strategy when you don't know what to do. Although I really have some ideas to do, but okay. Yeah, the knight isn't threatened, but at some point I will play some bishop g6 or, you know, you know what I mean. I, that knight is trapped there forever. My, I had the knight on g6 at that moment, but at some point I would have it somewhere else and my queen would be also cutting that knight, so... Yeah. As Aronian would say, this is a positional masterpiece. I could actually have taken the queen instead of the rook because bishop b5 uh, with the queen still here controlling that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I guess I'm threatening this now. Taking the, a free queen. Uh, okay, it's not free anymore, but it's still great for me any move wins his he has three seconds on the clock so let's put a threat and that's gonna be it good hey Vyalatic how are you doing Any move wins remind me of Kranik, yeah. GameShow is not showing the subscribers list for some reason, only the followers list. Okay, never mind. I'll fix that for the next stream. Okay, um, it's my turn, yes. Kramnik recently gone a bit crazy in his analysis. Recently? <laughs> <laughs> I think always. Um, H4. Oh. Do I want to play H5 or not? Probably not. On the other hand, yeah, let's do it. I don't know. Did, did Ben publish a video on Bernd Larsen? Okay, so. Is he gonna suck here? I mean, knight takes g6 is a cute move, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Okay, it's time to play some crazy stuff then. He mentioned that he might do a video on him. Ah, okay. Well, what am I thinking? I know nothing about him. Ah, such a great player, Leben Larsen. Yeah, I I have a friend who who met him, and I did have another friend who. Well, not a friend, uh, uh, an acquaintance, something I knew, uh, who defeated him. Um, okay, what am I doing here? That's an important question. Is this a move? I think it is, as crazy as it sounds. No sound? Khaled Radwan? You can't hear me? And uh, the rest of you guys? <laughs> can you hear me? Because... Uh, my software says uh, there's sound. 
Okay, okay. I think, uh, yeah, someone tell in the chat to Khaled, because if he cannot hear me, <laughs> I will not say Khaled is your problem. Um, okay. Um, wow, this is too complicated now. There, I think I can take here also. Bishop takes c6, knight takes, knight takes. Oh, maybe I cannot. Maybe I cannot. Oof. Wasn't b5 possible? Yeah, probably. Probably. Yeah, that was a cute. b5 was a cute one. Because if he takes queen d4, threatens knight d3, check, and win the queen. Yeah. Um, I guess it's still okay also. Um, but how to do it? Yeah, let's do it this way. What a pros percentage of questions in chat are original? That's a good question. That's an original one. So after bishop takes c6, I can check on e5 and then take on c6. Can't I? No, because he goes queen e4. Wait, wait, wait. Queen e5 check, queen e4. And I have a problem. That's annoying. And this is bad. Did he find a good move or am I just tilting? So bishop e3 I cannot take on d4 and I'm not sure if I can go knight e5, probably not. Okay, this is the same story, but now I can take on b2. So queen d4, bishop c6, uh, queen e5 check, queen e4, queen b2, bishop d7, king d7, queen b7, I guess. But he can castle, and then my king is very exposed. <laughs> ah, what about knight takes? No, no, that's stupid. Have you tried taking his pieces? Oh, good point. Okay, let's do it then. Thanks for the advice, Vioratic. Oh, that was not expected. Okay, bishop b7, rook b8, bishop e4. Bishop b7, knight c2, king. What? Okay, never mind. I thought I had the solution, but no, it's not the same. Never play f6, guys. Never play f6. Especially if you're hanging the g6 pawn with check. Okay, let's try to save the position now. Uh, because this is really, really bad now. This is really, really, really... Nah, it's not that bad. It's just equal. I hope to have an advantage and I don't have it. Um, it ships taking your audience away to YouTube. Ah, never mind. I, I trust it ships. I'm sure that's good material. Uh, your opponent's time advantage. Oh yes, it's a lot. So forgive me for a second if I if I start not talking for you know during this last minute of the game. And I'll catch up with the chat later on. Uh 94 might be a problem.
So I am bricked up asks how long did it take you to get that 1800 rating? I'm 1400 I want to get 18 as a milestone. Well, I'm not 1800. But I might answer that question after the game. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm sort of doing okay here. I think. Okay, I didn't see that one. Uh, that's a good one. That's a cute one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was very annoying move. Maybe I'm not doing so so okay. Change of plans. Change of plans now. Not a problem. Have to take it. Yeah. It says twenty one nineteen right on screen. Yes, that's my current leeches rating. In blitz or is it this blitz or is it rapid? It, this is rapid, so that's my rapid rating. Yes. Whoa, that's a uh, unexpected. Yeah, bishop a2 was possible, but. Somehow I, I want to enter with everything and also trade that. I don't want rook takes b7 to take place. Okay, h5 is hanging, so it's still not that easy, but... Yeah, let's defend it. Oh, this is tough. This is a tough, tough endgame for to play. <laughs> it's so little time. Now e three is hanging, no matter what I think. So I'm taking a a third pawn, right? So the problem is going to be the the time in this game. Yeah, with the bishop, of course. Prevent knight c5. Uh, I lost several seconds there. This plan, good. If the rook moves, this can be a good move also. Okay, check. It's important. And now I cannot take the knight still. Check again. Actually, here he could take. I'm realizing just now. Okay, we should be five ninety six. I have to take it. 
Ah, that one. Whoa. We didn't see that one. <laughs> I'm tilting. Okay, okay, okay. This is not easy. Check. Uh, let's take here. So 98 he's gonna have. Uh, 98 a half bishop c7, right? So check. King h1, only move. Ah no, he can go out, yeah, also. So bishop c7 now against 98. And he repeats. But I have a check on g3. Here. Oh, I missed that. Okay, never mind. Has to take with the knight. He has one check. Rookie four check is possible, but I think I'm still winning. And maybe it, it, it actually helps me. He goes that way, which makes sense. Oh, be careful with that. I have to be careful. Didn't expect that at all. No, no, no. He could have taken my pawn on c5. Oh. Ah. I blundered. That one was not what I expected. And of course I'm gonna lose some time. I was still winning in this position. Ah. Uh, on your leeches it says you're eighteen fifty. No no no, I'm I'm twenty one. But it doesn't matter, that's just the online Yeah, had had he taken my pawn with check, I would have lost some time. I mean, he, he doesn't have any, any flagging skills because he has to sack the rook with a check because I was under one second. <sighs> Usually you lose on time while winning on pieces? Nah. Not not that usually. Anyway, my my online rating is yeah maybe twenty one hundred. Uh, it varies. But my real rating, my feed rating is twenty hundred twenty hundred and sixty five if I remember correctly. Okay, he took. Uh, C4, I'm not sure, but okay. Let's let's play this endgame. Uh, 
end game. Why not? I'm gonna cast. You are undefeated in Fide. That's good. <laughs> Did you play any any? <laughs> That reminds me of uh, yesterday when someone said, I never lost to Carlsen. I said, okay, that's good. I never lost to Carlsen. And I can tell you, I never lost to, Car to Carlsen either. And I lost only once to Peter Svidler. So I also have a good score against those guys. Oh, that move is very, very strange to me. It's very, very strange, isn't it? I will go here, I will... Yeah, I'm not sure. Somehow I like this. What? What is that? Never play f6, come on. What did I tell you? So, double threat, he, he saw, yeah. I didn't see that defense, which is uh, like kind of an obvious one. Still, this is annoying, I guess. Yeah, I played Peter's Viddler once, but it was an online, game, an online chess game, so it's not like... It wasn't federated, I mean. Nowadays you 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 can play any any strong player. Oh I really I really want to sacrifice that knight. Whoa, this is cute. This is cute guys. If it works, <laughs> I don't know if it works, but if it works, it's good. Oh, he doesn't go for it. Okay, never mind. I wanted to sack that, then take here. I mean, his, I can lead the king to lure the king to h8, then take here, then bring the other rook to the seventh. That, that was a beautiful line. Anyway, I don't have time to explain it now. Um, Bishop b7, I guess he's going to do. Okay, I, I will start collecting some material, I, I guess. Uh, this way is better. I thought I had a tactic, but instead I sacked my bishop in order to hang my queen. Is that a good play? <laughs> I don't think so. Where should I put my clip? Of you pulling out that that last game on time, okay. If you clipped it, you you can share in the chat. This feels close to mate, but it's still not quite there. It's gonna be very close to mate, but 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 I don't see exactly the. can take here. Okay, let me see. Check. Check. If he takes his mail. Ah, okay, I can do this. And check. And he has to go to h8, which is the point, because otherwise it's mate. And now... Almost there.
Okay, let's do this. It's probably the easiest. Yeah, almost checkmate, almost exactly. Now I'm threatening bishop g7, so knight takes e7 is probably only move. To remove that knight that is controlling g8. And then I'm threatening to promote, so if he takes on d7 to stop it, I take with the other rook. Or I play, yeah, this is the fastest actually. Don't get too fancy, thanks. Thanks for the advice, yes. <laughs> That didn't seem like a 1900 to me. And I mean because of, you know, once he's lost, doesn't matter. But in the opening he made some weird choices. Uh, didn't you miss mating 1? Knight takes e7, rook f8. No, he had knight g8 there. Knight takes e7, rook f8, knight g8. That wasn't mate. I had to take the knight. We're definitely gonna come first. Ooh, no. Okay, I, I, it's good to realize I'm in second place. Uh, but still, nine points behind the first. And you know me, in long tournaments, still 47 minutes left. In long tournaments, I will have my losing streak. <laughs> it's gonna come very soon. Oh, but we're playing against a strong opponent now. Now he plays g6 which is what I usually do. Um, okay, what's the most annoying against this? If he takes with C, he, he plays my, my line. Yes. No, I don't have uh, I don't have water, I don't have water, and it's going to weaken our yeah, yeah I know it I know it it's gonna be tough because I have no water really. Pep is the Lord of long tournaments. No, not really, not really, not at all. Uh, I'm struggling to calculate already. It takes the four, takes, 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 takes on c3. No, I cannot do that. Hey, guy inbox, what's up? Oh, that's an inbox. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Bishop g4 is fair plan. They usually do something here against me that I don't like, and I can't remember what it is. What is it? But he's threatening this, and he's threatening. I mean, what is it that my opponents do here that I'm not able to do? I think I'm gonna castle <laughs> and sacrifice a pawn. I don't know. I'm out of ideas. When is Pepe doing a 24 hour tournament? Are you crazy, guys? Do you think I make a living out of this? 
a uh, good point, Luku. If you already have d4 defended, you can play b3 and that's it in that position, yeah. Yeah, but somehow I struggle against people who play bishop g5 against me and then I thought bishop g5 would be a good move, but yeah, it seems not so great. Okay, c5 is obviously desperate to to say the least. Um, now I'm not sure, maybe I can take with the bishop instead of the rook, which was my idea, or even with the knight. Sure, if that makes sense. Will we do tournament today? Mm, this is a tournament. <laughs> you can join. Um, this is going to finish uh, around 12 a.m. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe maybe we can do an, another tournament later, but a short one. A short one. Okay, now he only has one threat, so let's defend it. I don't mind now. The, uh, as much as I like to have pressure on the e7 pawn, I think it was useless. So let's defend c5, and then I might be able to castle next. Now there's no longer pressure on d4 or c4, because there are no d4 and c4 pawns. So if I defend that one, okay, he's attacking it again. Um, Yeah, I would, I'm gonna castle. I, I'm gonna stop losing time. And yeah, okay, you can take a pawn. I will eventually find some compensation or not. Let's see. For example, I can already threaten that knight somehow. Can't I? May 96 and I'm just realizing I really need to go to the bathroom <laughs> so when this game is over I'm gonna pause <laughs> mm -hmm. need to find a good move Well, I can trade queens. I didn't want to, but I think it's probably the best. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I might be committing a mistake here. But at least it, get, it gets complicated. If he takes to, to be able to play nice c4, it, it gets messy. b7 hanging, b2 hanging. I like that. Um, maybe I can fish there. And he goes for it, okay. Ah, but after knight c4 I cannot go here because takes on e3 and then bishop h6. Yeah, I missed that. Anyway, knight c4 I think I go knight d5. Let's go. So b4 hanging, b7 might be hanging, e7 hanging. Pawn down, but yeah, I'm giving him the bishop pair back. He probably has to take it. And then best case scenario for me is a four versus three in the king side that might be a draw with that awesome bishop on f3. Maybe it's not that awesome after a move like knight e4 at some point, but okay. So if he takes on b2, I'm gonna take on b7. Okay, let's defend or not? No, let's counter attack. Let's keep things complicated. Still a pawn down. Still dangerous. <laughs> Bullet in real life, yeah, that's that's tough. That's, that's something I don't 
especially enjoy unless I play against people who also don't play bullet regularly because then we're all uh, in equal conditions but yeah if you play against people that are used to play bullets in real life they just kill you it doesn't matter the chess skills is 15 seconds bullet even possible in real life? Mm, I would say not without oh that's a yeah I missed that oh 94 no 90, 92 is a bad move yeah yeah okay I would say it's not possible uh, without increment Okay, 92 is a bad move, but knight takes f3 is a good move. I thought he had to do it. Because now I get to save my bishop, more or less. <laughs> more or less get to save it, because it's not easy actually to, to do something with it. But okay, let's do it. Let's do what I have to do. Wanna play 44, thanks for the follow. So my compensation for the pawn is my bishop. My bishop. But it's a terrible bishop, isn't it? That knight is gorgeous on d4. Whoa! What is that, Pluku? 100 bits? You serious? Thank you, buddy. Thanks for the cheering up, but I'm gonna lose this one. Yeah, 92 was bad because I would have two pieces for the rook. Okay, at least the bishop is slightly, slightly better on a4 than on d1. <sighs> this is tough. This is rough, I tell you. Yeah, rook there preventing rook d1. Let's get some activity with the king now. Let's prevent rook d2. Poof. This is tough, guys. This is very tough. I'm still a pawn down. The pawn a2 is really weak. Uh, he has a decent control over that open file. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Just gonna start playing faster. Okay. King g3 maybe. Start pushing pawns. Oh, thank you, buddy. I didn't expect that blunder. But blunders are... Welcome. Still not easy. Still not easy. Draw? Should I go for the draw here? I'm gonna go for the wing. Yeah, I'm I'm one up and I think I'm gonna take one pawn now. I think I can take that pawn. Uh, or freeze freeze uh, his pawns 
b3 I have bishop c4 um, yeah I'll take this and I'm gonna play this rook versus uh, sorry three versus two with rooks which should be close to winning but uh, it's a matter of time isn't it the clock is important here okay and also careful with the pre-moves not to hang my rook I allowed something I shouldn't but I had a point because I thought he was going to play like he did um, now should be winning I know there's a way to win this probably on time probably can win on time but I'm gonna win some seconds here so I'm gonna repeat here so that he cannot repeat and now I'm gonna go for the what I think is can be a winning plan uh, here here check no it wasn't winning Yeah, let's go for the flagging. <laughs> I, I've seen a game, I think it was Maria Musichuk winning uh, very similar to this. A game very similar to this, if not this. I thought it was exactly this one, but I can't remember. Anyway. <laughs> I got the win there, but whew, look at this. This is 45 points, the number one. Whoa, that's too far away. Yeah, I'm not sure about, about that ending. Yeah. It's, it's probably a draw and I probably messed it up before because it's very likely to be a win uh, before but yeah I thought that was the construction just go for quick mates instead of boring endgames um, streaks are very important especially when berserking um, so I'm taking one risk which is berserking I cannot take more than one risk at a time. Uh, I see it that way. Because if I lose a game, it's the cost is really high to losing a game. Oh, this is exactly the same position I had in the previous game with with and I played C5. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so my opponent is doing exactly what I what I did. Um Yeah, okay. Exactly the same, and I went with bishop e3. I mean, it's not exactly the same because he already castled, so it's uh, slightly different, but similar idea. Uh, am I taking a pawn? Ah, no, because he takes on e7. Okay, but he has to give up. He has to get rid of the bishop bird to take on e7. Oh, no way! What? How did I blunder this? Okay, 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 okay.
He takes on c5, I take on b2. If he attacks it, I have rook b8. So he has to take the rook. And, uh, sorry, the bishop. And then I save the knight. So I felt that was the best way to give the exchange up. Oh, he goes there. Maybe, I, maybe I'm wrong in my, in my, my calculation. But I think the other way it was an exchange down for me, but some hope because of the knight. But now I think I'm a pawn up. <laughs> and I, I remember, now I'm remembering, I wanted to go to the toilet <laughs> in the previous game. And I want again. Okay, so yeah, I thought. This was possible. Let's keep the rook defended just in case. But a4. Okay, if a4 I go rook b6. No, then rook b6 first. Because if bishop c5, rook b5, hitting the bishop. I think this is the best move order. The idea is if rook d2, well, now I have the pawn defended, but, but I, I also have bishop d4. One in between it that doesn't help? How, how does it not help? It was a good one. Oh, talking about good moves. So in the end I'm an exchange down. Shit. Yeah, that was unfortunate. Hmm. I expected either rook here or rook here to, you know, either rook to d7, I expected. Uh, I guess I'm still losing, but I have a clear plan <laughs> to start pushing the, this pawn. Yeah, I guess he, he did have time to take on a7, but didn't, didn't honestly expect it. Rook a5 is a move. Rook a5, I have the sneaky bishop c7, but even even that endgame is not good for me. I'm a pawn down. <laughs> yeah, bishop c7 was great. Maybe I should have found another move instead of rook b7. Yeah, rook b5, a4, rook b4. Yeah, I didn't have to attack the bishop. Yeah, that was a mistake by me. I could still save my material, I think. Okay, he goes there, makes sense. Let's keep pushing. So he's probably gonna block on, on C2. Yes. But okay, this rook is passive now, so... So I guess he's gonna try... He's gonna try and, and push this pawn, but at least now it's only one rook active. So I have decent chances now. Is he gonna give the exchange back? In that case I would love to take on a2, although it's gonna be a draw. Okay, let's defend it. And yeah, this is probably a draw already. I don't see a way to me for me to make progress. And it's gonna be difficult for him also to make progress, right? G4, I like to see that. Have more targets now. I'm not scared of G5, my bishop has plenty of squares in the diagonal. Actually this also. Now, if he gives the, the the exchange back now, my rook is really happy with all those weaknesses out there. So the check probably helps his king. I want to keep this attacked, okay. 
and uh, let's go active with my rook uh, that's probably a bad move yeah he has all the pawns defended and that's annoying and maybe I can try something that this is dangerous yeah not sure how to proceed huh. I guess I need to to bring the king in let's cut the king um, and bring my own king this is a tough ending this is a tough one Hanging with check. So I cannot stop this for the moment. So I need to collect as much as I can first. And then hopefully uh, we'll find a way to sacrifice. Ah, if possible, the bishop, but I don't see how. Okay, let's go all in. I don't see anything. I mean, there are other lines more promising to stop the pawn, but I don't see how I don't lose in those lines. So, <laughs> oh, that's a cute one. Yeah. Cute. Cute move, that one. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I probably must resign here. King f6 is terrible. Putting something on e5 is terrible. Yeah, okay. Ah, rook f3. Or that. That, exactly that, I didn't expect it, but okay. Police, thanks for the follow, buddy. We lost again, yes. And we're gonna lose this one also. We're gonna lose this game also. Check. Let's put the bishop already in the diagonal. Let's be... Oh, I missed that. Okay, never mind. <laughs> you remember Aronian Nakamura? Those two pawns. A rook down. It's very similar, huh? Although the difference is here, I'm probably more than losing. Hikaru was losing, just losing. And Aronian managed to get the draw. But here I'm probably more than losing. And that's a problem. Yeah, let's defend it. Because if I push it, rook a5, and that's all she wrote. I feel inspired by Levon. <laughs> Check. Oh, Rook okay. 8. No. No, this is actually probably better. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do. So 
I bring the king in front. No. I'm making progress. I'm making progress, guys. I'm making progress here. I can even win. <laughs> I can even win, guys. Ah, uh, he just stalls. Yeah. Oh, that was unexpected. Check. That was a blunder by me. No. I have no moves. I'm losing the pawn, guys. That was a pity because I managed to. Uh, yeah, I had managed to to sort of find something. Now let me resign. Okay. It's a pity because I had this draw there. Okay, give me a second. I really need to go to the toilet. And the tournament still 16 minutes. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Ah, uh, yeah, Pluku, you are right. Close to even winning. Yeah, I think it should be a draw in that. That I mean, oof, many people are very close to me, and now I just lost, so I I'm not in a streak. It's gonna be really tough to to keep the the podium in this tournament now because I will have time for one or two games, right? And I'm playing against a strong guy again. Shit. Nichilin, thanks for the follow. Um, yeah, I think the only way to win for either side... I mean, I think I was frozen at some point when he had the two rooks on the H file. I cannot move any... I cannot push any pawn. But he can do anything. So that's like... I think it was a draw because neither of us can do anything but lose <laughs> and I think I was the, the one doing something to lose yeah it happens okay this game against Daji at least I'm not losing rating in this tournament right because the games I lost I lost against strong people Maybe just lost a couple of points or so. Okay, um, I should be here maybe. 
put some pressure on the C4 pawn. Uh, unless he goes knight g5 right now. Okay, okay. Huh. So knight d7, bishop e3. Yeah. I guess that's good. So let's go here instead. Because I didn't want to half a knight on d7 blocking everything and then the knight couldn't move after he defends on c5 so at least this way I, I can move uh, yeah bishop e6 bishop c4 I don't like it so I guess it's time to go here huh I'm threatening this guy I'm threatening this guy so bishop c4 will take c5 and the bishop is great defending d4 so I guess he has to take probably <clears throat> with either piece probably with the bishop well with the knight also makes sense but I, I have a tempo maybe even too tempy uh, pinning the knight is not a good idea because knight takes e2 is check so there's no way for him to play some rook to the d file Okay, he decides to give out that pawn. Is that for any particular reason that I'm not seeing? I, I don't understand that move. Maybe knight g5? I don't, I don't believe knight g5 in this position. Uh, no, the, the bishop is hanging. What am I saying? So, so what's his idea? I mean, the bishop is hanging. I take c3, ruins his structure. I guess he's going to take on d4, but why, why didn't he do it before? Now the back rank I have no issues without, you know, I have bishop f8. Yeah, okay, I like this position a lot. Um, and I probably want this bishop in this diagonal. <coughs> so that's why I play b5. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, let's go. <coughs> bishop pair, pawn up. Advanced pawn defended. Yeah, but I think there was any pro there was no problems. I, I didn't see I couldn't see any problems for me. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take and play this end game. I, I understand this is not the most accurate way. And I'm probably doing something wrong already with my Can I sacrifice that pawn and push? Probably cannot. Yeah, maybe I simplified too much, right? But okay, again, this is practical play. I can. I should be the only one that can win here. Uh, it takes two risky moves to to attack this pawn, and of course, I'm not gonna allow them now. Yeah, he can force me back to a8, but. <laughs> But I guess in that case, uh, we repeat at least once, and then I find another way, like rook a7, bishop f8. Yeah, he forces me back. Now bishop... Bishop e4 makes some sense, and I, I thought rook a7, but maybe... Oh, made in God's hands, thanks for the follow. Maybe the guy in first will get banned for being an engine user. Ah, that would be nice. Okay, so he's repeating basically, right? Rook C7 was the previous move. So if I go here, he's gonna repeat. So we need to find something else. We need to find something else. Okay, let's find something else. Uh, I will agree. I will agree on an opposite, uh, opposite color bishop sending. So I have rook e6. Okay. No need. Because I have a good feeling about first the pawn up, 
and second and most importantly the bone structure in that endgame it's probably a draw it's probably a draw but bishop e5 for rook d6 also yeah well, yeah okay i understand The other day I was playing against a clear engine user and I reported it during the tournament but they banned him the next day. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I won all the games in the tournament except against him and it was very clear he was an engine user. And yeah, he, he fucked my tournament. Like <laughs> he cut my streak at halfway of the tournament and I didn't even get to the podium. That was... Yeah, I hated it. Okay, so... Again, this endgame. <laughs> you reported me, Violatic. Okay, that was a bad move probably because I think he had time to, to get to C4, which was well, maybe not so great now that I see. Yeah, 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 maybe not so great. Um, what? What is that move? Yeah, he's gonna take on H7 or G6 or something. Uh, yeah, so now that move makes sense. I think I'm gonna keep the H pawn and give give the, the g-pawn actually i can defend it and this is going to be a long-term weakness and i'm also threatening king g7 trapping the bishop if he goes here i mean uh so yeah king f6 might be a better move i have time to defend this guy if necessary but i mean if i take the bishop it's not necessary to defend that uh, that check? Okay, that prevents king g7 by giving up another pawn. I think I like that. Yeah, okay, let's take it. And again, I prefer to keep the h pawn than the g pawn because in the end it's gonna be more important. Where does this bishop want to be? Yeah, I guess I, it prefers to be on g5. Okay, ah, I, I give the additional option of going h5, but that's too dangerous for him because I go g4, king g5, f4, g3. King here, he has to play bishop here at some point, and then I play for f4, g3. And I'm gonna have a passer no matter what. And I can defend this if necessary, so yeah, I feel confident about this. If, if he goes all in, uh, I will defend this guy. Eventually, I will have to defend this, of course. But for example, if he reaches here, I can promote this. So for the moment, with this pawn still here, um, there's no way he can go here. Um, but another idea is to push this, which I'm probably going to do now. Yeah, now that he's far from here, and create these two passers. And then if the bishop goes to help the king, which he will have to, then I take here and I have the h passer. So, yeah, I can press this position for a while. Maybe with accurate defense still a draw, but I definitely have some, some ideas, right? So if I go here, he probably goes king f3 immediately. So, yeah, I probably don't like that. Let's help with the king.
Let's help a lot with the king. He could ping my pawn with the bishop, but now it's no longer there. Okay, and now, now I'm basically winning. Yeah, g2, king f2. So first here, because I want to push this also. Yeah, the bishop cannot uh, defend both threats, basically. He's gonna try from f3, but he cannot. Okay, this is easy now. And yeah, he takes that, but... Uh, <laughs> you know, the easiest is to give up this pawn. I can defend it, or I can give it up, put the bishop on a3. Do this, take this, promote this. Or even defend it, defend everything, it's also good. So, the tournament is... <laughs> this is nice. He has two minutes in the clock. The tournament is two minutes and two seconds left. So it's uh, three, two or three seconds difference. Let me remove this then. And I need to remove every move to make the... Yeah, it's one second of difference now. So this game will not count for the tournament. That's annoying. Actually, I misplayed it. Yeah, now he has more time. But if he keeps playing, at least I can... I can checkmate him, but... Oh, okay, he resigns, okay. Thanks, Daji. I thought he was going to stall, because then the, the game wouldn't count. Okay, and pairings are over, and I expect someone to surpass me now in this last minute and get me out of the podium. We didn't even come second. Yeah, probably not even third. Let's wait. Let's see. Yay! Third place. But not the best finish. Okay, third place um, out of 221 players. Good. Uh, performance of 2103, uh, not so good. But you know, look at the first, the first guy uh, had a not so good performance, but uh, he played six more, six more games than me, and berserking less. So I guess he had good short games, or maybe he plays for checkmate. Yeah, and um, his games were shorter. Anyway, um, did I lose rating? I don't know how to how to see it. <laughs> Doesn't matter. So, someone asked for a tournament. So, so okay, let's do a tournament, but just one and just half an hour, okay? Because <laughs> I want to to go to bed not so not so late. So, okay guys, let's do a tournament. What do you want it to be? Do you want uh, some thematic opening? Do you want some variant? Standard, please, says Sebastian. 
a standard, no, no opening, no variant, no fun. <laughs> okay, we can do it. Violatic says Venoni. <laughs> but only watch now, man. Now, if you. Four pongs attacking Sindian. Uh, Violatic, if, if you ask for an opening, you have to play. If you only watch, you cannot. You cannot ask. You cannot. Especially when there's. When there are people that don't don't want a specific opening, <laughs> what is Benoni? I can answer that, or actually you can see it. If you use the learn command, uh, you see a link there, and that link leads to. Uh, to the position of the opening so you can see the, the starting position but Benoni let's just explain what Benoni is in queen pawn openings when black plays knight f6 and you play c4 which is normal from here on there are several very well known openings with g6 you can go to Grunfeld or King's Indian territory with d5 you can go to queen's uh, gambit uh, territory, maybe slavs, although you don't usually play knight f6 first. Um, with e5 you go to the Budapest, and with c5 you go to Benoni type of positions. When did I say fuck viewers, Violatic? <laughs> Ah, because it was your preference as a viewer. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> but we're we're talking about doing a tournament with the viewers, so you know. So this is the Benoni um, Sefa, and yeah, mm, a lot of theory, a lot of different lines from here on. There's also the old Benoni that starts with c5 immediately and they usually transpose unless something rare happens basically they sh they usually transpose unless white uh, doesn't play c4 um, so anyway let's do a tournament uh, we can do no no opening, but I hope I'm not good at it. I mean, if you're not good at one opening, you're probably not good at any opening. So in general, it does not matter. And I usually recommend you to explore openings. I think it's important when you don't know openings. It's important to improve. What I mean is to improve. <laughs> It's important to don't uh, don't have fear because you don't know. That's what I mean. And sometimes it's nice to explore. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna do it without openings. Okay, it's a no openings tournament. But thematic openings allow you to play like six, seven games in a row with the same opening. And that's probably better to to learn any any idea of that opening than just playing uh, non-thematic games. Anyway, so let's do a let's do it without openings. How do we call the the, the tournament? Let's say it's um, today. It's Wednesday. Yeah, nothing funny there. Let's play a tilted arena. Uh, standard initial position. Do you want it uh, rated or casual? I don't mind. You tell me in the chat. And it's gonna be 30 minutes. 30 minutes, 3 plus 2 if that's okay with you. 
What openings are considered not an, not an opening? Um, yeah, good question. Only end games tournaments. That would be nice. Safe access rated. Okay, standard, initial position, rated, 3 plus 2, 30 minutes. Uh, is that okay with you? Then let's create it. I'm gonna create it. Waste Monsters, so of course you can join. It's not for subscribers. It's not even for followers. I mean, it's an open tournament. It's published. I never click the private checkbox. So you have here the link. Free. Feel free to, to join and have some fun. Um, okay, I'm gonna take this minutes to go for yeah there's increment it's three plus two so be careful with berserking <laughs> and I'm gonna go grab something I'll be back in a minute Sometimes random leeches players joining. Yeah, exactly. Hopefully this one I can stay awake for whole thing. Yeah, hopefully it chips. This is shorter. It's just half an hour. Uh, they're usually the best players. <laughs> yeah. Pepe on twenty hundred. Yeah, twenty hundred exactly. I, I guess I should have make it. Uh, I should have make it uh, casual. Okay. Let's see if I don't lose a lot of rating points. Um. I must be it up. I can't play on net. Why do you know? When the march starts on net, it freezes and I can't play, but I can play in app. Uh huh. Uh, I hope. I hope you can play, uh, Sefa. <laughs> I have a message from someone, uh, Kurutoga. I'll answer you after the stream. <laughs> How to join the tournament? You follow the link. Here is the link, uh, Halid. You just follow the link, and there's a green join button, guys. Sefa can play but can't listen. Uh, you cannot do both at the same time, right? Yeah, some people have the same problem. Uh, yeah, if you want to play, don't don't listen to me. That's even more fair. If you play against me, <laughs> not to listen to my ideas. <laughs> but yeah, I understand. If you're going to play the tournament, you're not going to listen to me. You can watch it later because... Um, I always, you know, every stream I, I always um, keep it recorded under the video section on my Twitch channel and also in my YouTube channel so that every video is is there forever on YouTube at least. So you, you can see it later. Okay, ten, 10 players joined so far. We have a quote by Richard Fenton, a man that will take back a move at chess, will pick a pocket. Uh, will pick a pocket uh, means it's a robber, right? It, it steals from people. And yeah, 
It makes sense. It makes sense. <laughs> Thanks, Sefa. Good to know. Good to know that I that I say some useful stuff from time to time. Never play F6. Yeah, remember that one. Okay, 20 seconds left. Uh, good luck in the tournament, guys. Um, there we go. Seven, six, five. I think I'm gonna berserk a lot in this tournament. I have that kind of mood. Slow gamer, let's go. Alloping. So I'm taking risks from the f very first game. Playing against the second. Um, yeah, the second in the ranking and berserking. Anyway, I think this opening is going well for me for the moment. For the moment, it's very decent. Uh, I take with the queen, maybe. Maybe, 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 baby. Okay, uh, yeah, knight of six. So a bit of a tough one. Queen there also tough one. Ooh. Good move, good move. I didn't want to play g3, but you have to do what you have to do. So if there's no checks, I think... Oh, okay, I, I missed some idea. What? Not sure about that rook b8 move. What am I supposed to do now? Poof. I'm I'm too overextended here. Um, I feel the risk. I feel the risk. Okay, let's castle, defending this guy. Could be important in the future. Um, let's go here and see what happens. That's a ping. Let's see how it goes. Probably almost are okay, but I think I'm gonna take with the pawn. Yeah, it's cute. Okay. H2 maybe. Poof, tough position to play without without now I go here, the knight has to go to h8. Tough position to play without increment guys.
Yeah, I don't mind that. Guru Toga, thanks for the follow. I'll answer your your message later, not now. <laughs> did I blunder that? Yes, I did. But it's uh, risky for him also, right? Yeah, opening the H file. Risky business. Ale. Okay, that was a bad move by me. Yes! I won Time Berserking! Nice! Poof. Poof. Wow! A 2500 is playing. He won one game and left. <laughs> you know, he came here, he said, okay, let's defeat Waste Monsters and let's, let's go away. I did my stuff. <laughs> hey, Sefa. Hey, Sefa, let's go. So your opening was e4, c5, c3, queen, a5. Yeah, okay, I guess it makes sense. It, it, it transposes to... <clears throat> I mean, it makes sense. It's not like a terrible move, that's what I mean. It's probably not the best, but it's not the most terrible. It's castle. Okay, I'm not sure of, of this move. But I, I need to do something. There's knight takes e5 here, but I, I, I'm relying on knight b5. Um, yeah, <laughs> tricky business here. Probably not working. Probably not working. But it's gonna be an annoying ping, isn't it? This ping, I mean. I'm doing my best here to complicate stuff. Okay, that I will take. And your queen's still hanging, so be careful. I'm already a piece up. Let's uh, take here. Now let's take here. I tried to to 
to show that now be careful with the queen check <coughs> check oh the queen's hanging there <laughs> I didn't even see that GG Sefa. Count says I was better until my last move, but it seemed like I was being crushed. <laughs> yeah, because he was probably, you know, those GMs. And yeah, I guess he might not be a GM, but um, strong, strong player for sure. The strong people are always active, always putting threats, always making it difficult. And you have that feeling to be under fire the whole time. Even though the objective evaluation is is another thing. Wow, chess rare, 1200 in second place. Defeating Peace for Patzer and Khalid and playing now against Lasse Anderson, aka John John. Amazing performance by this 1200 guy. And we're getting a game against a 1900 guy. Okay, this is gonna be really tough and it's too risky to play Berserking. Okay, I tried the Benoni, but he didn't enter there, so this is transposing to... I don't know, this is similar to an Alekine, actually. <laughs> D5 is possible, yeah, I missed that. And now I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, but I will go here, because C4 is hanging. So... <coughs> Put more pressure there on C4. Uh, I will put more pressure because maybe B5 I can take with the queen on C4. And now that I thought I could have something. A4 is too risky. I think it's not. I think it's not. Yeah, but the knight on a5 is very stupid, right? <coughs> <coughs> no tricks way is watching the game. This is the 2500 guy. So now I'm nervous. <laughs> that, that was probably a bad move. He, he, he could take on passant probably better. Um, anyway, I need to preserve this bishop. No matter how it costs. Am I winning material here? Or is knight g5 an idea for him to sort of bail out? Whoa. That's easier now. Bishop c3 might be a threat. Okay, this 2500 is already out of the game. He got bored. Which makes sense. It's been there. Let's go here. I would love to trade queens. So queen d4 is my follow-up. d4 check. Maybe this check is annoying. GG Ayman. Well, he keeps playing, so... <laughs> yeah, 31 seconds. Okay, GG. Now I can say GG. Oh, 
Okay, hey, he chips. Let's go, buddy. Wow, six to five. Pretty close score between us. Let's do more Benoni. Let's show. Let's show Sefa what the Benoni is. Okay. No Benoni then. Or, well, maybe this can be considered a Benoni. But I think this is probably considered a Sicilian already. This is the kind of structure you get in the Sicilian, in the Dragon Sicilian. Let's go there just to, you know, put some annoyance there. Um, what to do now? Let's take this guy out. I'm not sure if that's a good move, but I want to do something. I'm just playing random moves. I have no clue about this position. No clue about what am I doing here. Yeah, some issues there. Some issues. Yeah, issues, issues, issues. Now I take. Now is the perfectly good moment to take. Because that structure is better now. Let's go here. Not sure if that's good or bad. Oh, expected bishop b3. Okay. Okay, that's a different idea. a5 is probably weak. So I see your point. But your bishop is pinned now after king f2. Oh, and that's a bishop for me. <sighs> Got lucky there in the in those two last moves. GG chips. Yeah, in the last move, instead of king of one, rookie two, and I was going to go queen a two and start pushing my a pawn. My king is safe, so yeah, probably already winning after taking that pawn on a four. Oh yeah, king f2. King f2 was a mistake. <coughs> John Jong in second place now and Sefa in third place. Let's go against Chesche. Chesrech, sorry. Chesrech, the 1200 guy who won his two first games. Whoa, queen h4, what is that? Queen h4, what the heck? What the heck was that? Oh, I blundered a pawn and he didn't take it. I guess it's my lucky day. No, what am I doing? Where is that knight going exactly? No, this is not Alekhines anymore, because people claimed to play a tournament after the Alekhines tournament, so here we are, playing another tournament. Um, let's prevent bishop b7. Although bishop b7 would have weakened e6. Did you, John John? 
or did I? <laughs> Should I allow to take on? Yeah. Whoa. I really want to castle. You did. Okay. Check. Sorry to hear, buddy. Nice. That was nice. Check. How do I do this? Check, check. I'm gonna take everything. Uh, check, check. Check. Check, take. Ah, I should have taken first instead of the last check. Okay, I'm gonna take that. Let's not stalemate this guy. Okay, good. He resigned. Hey, Sefa in second place. Good job, Sefa. Although I know you are not listening. <laughs> but you will be after the tournament. I think I can probably stall already. Uh, 15 points of advantage. Yeah. So let's stop and watch some games. Let's, for example, who's playing? Sefa is playing against Ayman. Let's let's have a look at that game. Let's comment. Let's do commentary. So Sefa is playing with the white pieces against Ayman Shehata, the, this 1900 guy. And uh, Sefa is a pawn up, but uh, Ayman is throwing an attack there. It's just nothing, it's only a check on a. Oh, he blundered mate! No, Sefa, that was the only move you shouldn't do. The king needed the c2 square. Queen a1 is mate. No. <laughs> Whoa, that was a one move blunder. Okay, who's playing? It chips now is playing Seth, I think. Yeah. Okay, let's see. So Seth opened with e4. This was a French. And they went into this c4 line, which is kind of this... Uh, yeah, I, I don't know how to call this. Now the rook has some problems. d3 is only move here to save the rook. Queen e2, sorry was possible also, but it's risky because of king d8 and then you cannot save the rook. Yeah, king d8 was probably winning material with the threat of rook e8. Now white managed, managed to to save all the material. I have a notification. Who's there? Something watching my stream. Someone. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Um, a3. Okay. Equal position. I don't know which pawn structure is worse. Probably white. Uh, yeah, there's a check on c3. It's very tough to defend the d3 pawn. It's pinned. Yeah, king d2 maybe only move. You you don't want to do that. So he goes for the counter attack, threatening the c7 pawn. Good move. E5 stopping that idea. Bishop g5 wanted to wants to trade some, but yeah, after the trade he's gonna lose the d3 pawn, or even after the trade. Okay. Now it chips is a pawn up. It chips is a pawn up. Sefa try trades to make three islands of pawns. Oh, that's hanging the the a three pawn. That was a terrible move. Uh, Ninety four, maybe not the most accurate. Oh, he took back with the rook, stopping the threat on. You know, he was threatening a three, and also I would love the pawn on d four passed, but okay. So this is typical rook endgame that can be still a draw. But it chips it upon up. B5 might be an idea for white. B5 to try to liquidate. 
you usually want to liquidate in in the side of the board where where you are weaker um yeah h4 not a move i like because that's hanging yeah good point it chips took it it chips now it's two pawns up uh, offering a good trade for him no oh that's a very dangerous pawn now no way to put the rook behind it uh, for white i mean so that pawn is going to start running especially with the rook behind it the king must run now to d1 asap yeah and he must now block on d1 d2 check king d1 this is very hard position Ooh, rook c5 was my choice okay good move f3 yeah well well seen by sefa now this is probably losing for white no that's now a draw now it is a draw at least that was f4 was a bad move because of g4 and now uh, white is the one that might be winning actually this same game yeah king e5 and now it's very hard because black has to start pushing pawns in the other side of the board uh, yeah sefa is winning guys it chips uh, misplayed that end game and after if he plays king g3 the pawn on g4 starts running also king e4 is, is cute but the pawn could start running immediately already yeah this is a win for sefa very good technique good technique sefa and okay four minutes left in the tournament um what else slow gamer is in second place Iman's in third place sefa is tied with them it's very close this tournament should i play one more game should i play one more game let's play one more game probably not enough time three minutes to make it count but okay let's play one more game slow gamer this is in second place right so so i need to defeat him or at least uh, make this game not count so that sefa can make it to the podium sefa it chips and everyone but uh, yeah I don't know if Slow Gamer is actually watching the stream. <laughs> Slow Gamer, are you a viewer? Then I will have mercy. Otherwise, I will kill you. <laughs> okay, this is still theory. And this is Alekhine, by the way. So it's the perfect, the perfect last game for the stream. We're playing an Alekhine here. Yeah, bishop e6 maybe was better than bishop e7. Anyway, uh, let's castle now. I love the way this bishop is pointing there. So knight takes, I can probably take on h2 or on d4, everything's good. Uh, what do I do now? What about this? And Ah, he's gonna block. Yeah, okay. I like this. I thought he was going to take with the pawn and then play f4 against queen h4, but yeah, maybe this makes more sense. Yeah. I don't know why I was thinking about the other line. Uh, okay, bishop h6 sort of a threat. So let's already defend this guy. This is still defended with the trick on h2. Although, of course, it's good for white to remove this pawn and also remove my bishop. But uh, yeah, it's, it's. I will still be a pawn up, but it's not going to be as bad for white. Yeah, maybe keeping this alive wasn't also so bad for for white because that was a very terrible pawn. Very weak. So in a way this makes my life easier, at least easier to know what I have to do. Okay, Sefa, I will try, but it's 50 seconds left in the tournament, so I think Slow Gamer will not have his points either, so I already did my part, even if I don't win the game. <laughs> even if I don't win this game. Uh, 
this game will not count for a slow gamer. Nor for me, probably. Check. Yeah, neither of us have time to make this game count, I think. But I will try. 20 seconds left. Let's not blunder, mate. And, and that's gonna be it for you, Sefa. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, tournament is over. Uh, it's time to win the game then. So if he takes on d8, I can take on a1 or take back on d8. What should I do? Oh, by the way, I have no increment in it. Oh, <laughs> I did the only move to, to, give, to give the bomb back, and I'm so stupid. Okay, let's go for the draw. Oh, that was a good move. I didn't see that one coming. But I really want to go for the draw. But I cannot. Okay, this is terrible now. Yeah, I'm gonna lose this game, guys. I'm gonna lose some time. Most likely. Oh, I thought he... Yeah, I blundered mate. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I didn't see King G1. I, I only I was only thinking Queen H3 and King G2. Uh, did I say did I say this was the the best game to end the stream? <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> Queen C6. What a pre-move, guys! What a pre-move! Ah. Oh. Yeah, I was worried. I was going to go 96 instead. I was trying to find a pre-move because, you know, I'm low on time. And I thought, the problem with 96 is when he goes to g2, 96, rook h1, and then he's gonna go with the queen there. And I wanted... Yeah. I wanted to do this check. Yeah, that was stupid. Stupid! Anyway. Let's see the final standings. Uh, and congrats to Sefa who made it to the third place. Yes. And Aymans. Ayman Shehata, second place. Good games. And I won rating. In the end I won rating. So not so terrible. And okay guys. Uh, stream is... Is gonna be over, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do like like a pack of Vallejo. I don't wanna end the stream losing a game, so I will play one game, whatever, a bullet game, let's say, a one minute game. <laughs> I will end the stream when I win a game. Oh, he stopped to think. No. He didn't fall for that. No, I lost a pawn. No. Let's go for the comp. Where is the comp? Where is my compensation? I cannot allow to open the e-file. No, this is terrible. This is all terrible. Mm, this guy plays well. This guy plays well. I have to admit. Okay. I'll leave with that pawn there. Let's block here. If the knight goes to c4, I have a problem. Again. Okay, let's hack the exchange. What else? This guy is killing me. 
Oh, that was a great move. He's playing great moves. What, uh, what's going on here? He's so fast. Slow down, buddy. I know he's not gonna do that, but you have to try it, right? Sometimes you have to try. No! What was that? Bishop f6? Seriously? He sacrificed the piece. What a mean guy. What a mean guy. <laughs> Check. Okay. Now, this is how I want to end. <laughs> I'm watching you at 1.44. Yeah, yeah, it's too late. It's also... <laughs> It's late for me and it's one more hour for you, so yeah. Time to go to bed, Sefa. Uh, well done in the tourney. And uh, good games, everyone. Uh, by the way, when, when you will, you know, if you see the video after this, Sefa, you will see I was doing commentaries on two of your games <laughs> at some point of the tournament. So, so have a look at that. Um, so... So yeah, thank you guys. Uh, see you, see you tomorrow. Um, is there anyone streaming to to do a raid? Um, do you know if if there's any good stream out there streaming now? Raid, raid, raid. Okay, Chesscom is streaming something, I see. Chesscom is online doing St. Louis highlights. Okay, not... Yeah, I don't know. And what else do we have? Daniel Narodiski is playing chess. He's playing bullets. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that one. Uh, you all know Daniel, right? I don't have to introduce him. Okay, let's go there. Let's go watch some some bullet by Daniel. No, he's, he's offline now. What? Yeah, he might just end it. Okay, then I don't see any 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 good any good. Um, I don't see any stream to to raid, guys. <laughs> yeah, okay. Never mind. Never mind, guys. See you tomorrow. Uh, thanks for being there. And uh, and bye-bye. Have... Have a good night.